me and Zeus are heading out for uh, another adventure. It is March 20th, 2020, and we're in the midst of this uh, coronavirus stuff right now, and I um, thought I wanted to get out and uh, do an overnight um, before they could possibly do a lockdown, and then who knows what's going to happen after that. They're going to allow us to go out to go do anything like this, so... That's what I'm doing. I'm actually heading down to um, a hike outside of Oak Ridge. Um, Oak Ridge is a little town just outside of Eugene. Going to be doing Larison Creek. It's about 5.6 mile out and back. And then we're just going to find somewhere undesignated around there because they've closed all campgrounds. Um, you're not allowed to camp in any campground. So we're going to just find some place to camp, which is what I do anyways. <laughs> I don't I don't really go designated, and I do practice l &T, so you don't have to leave me any dirty comments down below. I'm not messing up the forest or doing anything like that. Been doing this for 38 years, since I was 10 years old. I'm 48, so I know how to uh, take care of the forest. Anyways, yeah, so we're going to be doing that Oak Ridge, or that Larison Creek hike outside of Oak Ridge, and then staying overnight, and then uh, the next day we're going to drive over to Mackenzie River, which, um, based on Google Maps, it said that is roughly an hour and a half drive, and then we're going to go to, say, Holly, uh, Coosa Falls, um, supposed to be totally sunny tomorrow so I thought that would be a great time to hit that hike since there's uh, uh, two beautiful waterfalls there so that should be uh, a great time as well it's only two miles and then if I get crazy <laughs> I might try to look around for something else there and hit that hike up too um, I don't know we'll see we're gonna play it by ear on this one uh, weather today um, it said it was supposed to be kind of cloudy, but um, it's 7.30 a.m., and uh, it, the weather looks good. I mean, um, the sun's not completely up yet or anything, um, but it is light out, and I don't see any clouds in the sky, so I think it's going to be nice today as well. Um, weather's calling for high 50s, low 60s, so definitely spring-like conditions should be pretty amazing. Got the Zeus dog behind me, of course, and, uh, oh wow, there's the sun. I'm just cruising through, uh, the beginning of Albany right now for all you locals. Um, that kind of gives me a little position so you can know where I'm at. Yep, so probably about an hour and 25 minutes or so to get the trailhead. Um, we will see you when we get there. All right, we made it up to uh, Larison Creek Trailhead. Th that little sign back there is just the uh, road entry way to get back to this little trailhead, super small. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys a little um, show around of the trailhead, super small. This is kind of like a, uh, a uh, man-made lake area. Across the road here, which I'll show you, is kind of the main area of the lake. Zeus, come here. Zeus are just kind of chill out and uh, look at this water for a while. Going to have some snacks, my bit of honey caramel, my favorite little trail snacks, and uh, have my favorite beer. So after you guys saw me and Zeus back there uh, um, at the creek split, we stopped there and just kind of turned around and came back. That point right there was actually over four miles, and um, all trails said that this was 5.6 out and back, so I think maybe I overshot the end. It never ended, it just kind of kept going, so I'm going to relook at that map when I get back to the car and kind of see 
how that played out. Anyways, we're right here down in the, uh, the tree cut area, right? Not too far um, before uh, where it goes out into the main lake, just kind of chilling out um, by the creek here, um, cooling off and having a little snack before we uh, finish the rest of the route back to the car. Anyways, um, we'll see you down there when we get back to the car. I hope you guys are enjoying this trip. It's a beautiful day and it's been amazing so far. Me and Zeus just wrapped up the Larison Creek hike. Super gorgeous day. Awesome little along the river creek hike. Um, I never really found the end. Um, we went out about, oh God, it had to be at least four and a half miles up and um, I never found the end of it. Got to a point where there was um, a split, um, a feeder creek coming in and then the main river coming and then you had to cross this log that I could see people had been crossing, but um, that was a good four and a half miles in and this was, uh, is supposed to only be a 5.6 mile out and back. So um, I just kind of called it quits from there because I was only planning on hiking 5.6 miles and I think we hiked more like nine, it felt like nine. Anyways, we're going to head out, um, take one of these, um, like, service roads and see if we can find a place to throw up the rooftop tent and uh, camp overnight and then Mackenzie River in the morning, Sahali Kusa. So uh, once we find a little spot, I'll get you guys back out. So I'm back at the Larison Creek Trailhead. I got a new friend, Sav, here. Um, I actually rescued him uh, back up uh, Larison Rock Road. I was about seven, eight miles in. He was doing uh, this hike and uh, he doesn't go outdoors much and he got completely lost and was actually overnighted out there with no gear. <laughs> yeah, I, this guy's crazy. Anyways, he survived it. I found him, I rescued him and now we're back in his car. <laughs> me and Zeus we got our spot pulled off um Larison uh Rock Road got the rooftop tent all set up as you can see and then back over here got my table and chairs gonna make dinner got some beer just keeping it simple tonight gonna do some ramen yep <laughs> so that's what we got going on let's do a little quick walk around you guys have seen this before, but just kind of Subaru with the rooftop tent. And then in the back, I've got my mess of supplies. <laughs> just a ton of stuff here. Propane, cook gear, different backpacks, um, just a mess of food. This is kind of, I mean, it's obviously more organized than this, but this is kind of what I keep in my Subaru in the back. So I'm just kind of ready to go all the time. Don't have to do a whole lot of packing. It's just in there and I can just grab it, grab what little stuff that I need, my filming gear and you know, a few clothes items and I'm out the door. So that's the way I roll. <laughs> so that was super cool. That last little clip you saw down there at the trailhead with uh, uh, the gentleman that I met, Sav. Um, Man, he was very lucky. Um, someone put me in the right place at the right time to save that guy. Uh, I did talk to him and he said it was okay to, uh, you know, put it up on YouTube and uh, talk about it a little bit. I did film him a little bit, but I didn't want to film him too much. I didn't want to like shame him or do anything, make him feel like, you know, bad about the situation. But uh, just to fill you in on the story, I did talk to him quite a bit about what happened. And then I gave him a whole bunch of advice um, to uh, help try to keep him safe next time he uh, tries to uh, go out and go hiking. So his story is, is he started yesterday at Larison Creek Trailhead. Uh, he uh, came up, he wanted to, you know get out of town because of the coronavirus, um, self-isolate, um, get away. And um, he's been wanting to try hiking. 
and this is a second hike out and he for some reason he chose to drive all the way from portland all the way outside of oak ridge he's actually staying in a b and uh, airbnb in oak ridge and then yesterday he started on the trail he um went out on it hiked some time on it and then um apparently he thought it was um a loop trail which it's not it's an out and a back so he got to a point where he thought it was looping around he kept following it but he got lost because it was not really the trail um he lost the trail for a while and then he just kind of kept going and then he couldn't figure out how to go back um and i told him that you just next time you just if you get somewhere and you don't feel comfortable with where you're, at, where you're at, you just need to turn around and go back. Anyways, he he uh, was not able to get out of there, um, so the next day he got up and um, started hiking and trying to, you know, self-rescue and get out of there, and um, I did that hike earlier today, and I saw his car, which I didn't know it was his car at the time, and I didn't pass anyone and you know when I got there it was there already and it was nine o'clock in the morning so I figured I'd probably pass someone they probably had went out and came back but that was not the case um, so I did the hike I came back I got in my rig um, head up Larison Rock Road because I'm trying to find a spot just to park my Subaru so I can do a little overnight and head to my destination tomorrow four miles up that road and then i turned off on another um unpaved road went on that probably about five miles and then i uh parked and i was getting my rooftop tent out and uh in the process of doing that and then um i heard something it, it kind of like it sounded like someone said help but i'm like i'm out in the middle of nowhere there shouldn't be anyone out here and then all of a sudden I heard Zeus kind of yelp and he kind of went up and around the corner and I'm like, what's going on? So I went up and around the corner and sure enough, he's coming out. He comes around the corner. He's limping. He's got his jacket on and he all he's got is one of those little uh, kind of sling pack. It's just a little like stringy little things. And he just has one bottle of water that he's depleted. Um and I think he might have had some snacks, but that's all gone. And that's literally all he had other than his clothes. And somehow he made it overnight. I talked to him. He didn't. He said that he was really cold and he's really lucky that it, it it's kind of like spring. And last night was probably only maybe in the 40s. So he got really lucky that it wasn't any colder than that because he could have got a hypothermia. Anyways, so yeah. Um, I took, I got, brought him back over to the car. Um, I popped my trunk. I, he saw all the stuff that I had in there and his eyes just lit up. Um, I offered him water. I had candy. I had food. I'm like, anything you want, let's get you, let's get you feeling better. So I gave him water. I gave him a bunch of candy. He was chewing on that and, uh, got him kind of feeling a little bit better. And then after that, we, I. Uh, Put my rooftop tent back down it was partially up and then i just drove him to the trailhead and then from that point you kind of saw what else happened um crazy super cool though um that's actually the second time that i've rescued someone the first time it was not on video of course this one i did get a little bit on video but super cool kind of makes you believe in when those things happen that there's some kind of higher power putting you somewhere um to get you know rescue those people because he would not have made it back in um he would have been out at least another night he was headed in the right direction but he was at least 10 miles away from his car and then not knowing where to go in what direction he could easily got lost again so super cool I'm glad uh, I was there for him and was able to get him get him to safety. Um, so if you're watching this, Sav, um, so happy that you're safe now. And check out my channel. And uh, hopefully, maybe sometime in the future, maybe, maybe we'll meet up again. And I'll take you for a hike. And you won't get lost. <laughs> take care, brother. 
me and Zeus uh, finished up dinner. We're down here at uh, Larison Rock Road, um, just kind of doing a little walk around, doing a little exercise after dinner. Um, it's still reasonably early. I think it's only about six o'clock or so. So trying to keep a little bit busy before we go up into that rooftop tent. I did bring some movies along on my phone, so I'll probably watch some of those. But I like to walk around and get a little exercise after dinner. Anyways, we're going to kind of show you where we're parked off of this road. So a little turn off here right off the road. I saw it, so I just like, eh, let's just go check this out, see if we can throw the rooftop tent up. There is a tree right up here. This tree was down. Um, I did not do that. That was there. I did move it over to get my Subaru up here, but then I moved it back just to um, kind of camo. Um, so if someone's coming by, there's not like seeing my rig so easily up here and then of course got the Subaru with the rooftop tent my little seating area like normal I kind of go back up in here this actually keeps going so I'm just going to kind of hike back up in here for a little bit and see if it goes anywhere you never know want to make sure there's no camping behind me and I'm blocking the way you know Okay, guys, I'm hiking up this road that kind of goes behind where I'm parked and just following it. And I have found something that I'm pretty fucking pissed about, to be honest with you. Sorry about the language, but it's just very maddening. And there's no cars that are getting up here anymore. Um, there's a big uh, tree that's uh, down the road there that's fallen, so you can't get any farther past that anymore right now. Um, I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'm gonna show you something that people that don't give a shit about the wilderness do. Okay, so you guys see what we got here. We've got someone who's completely dumped all of their trash and whatnot all up here in the forest off this road. I mean, it is a ton of shit everywhere. Um, I, I, I'm speechless. Um, I don't know if this is someone that lives down in Oak Ridge or what, but if it is, shame on you. This is unacceptable, and you should not be doing this. Sorry. Okay, I kept following that road, and I've got to the dead end of it. Kind of dead ends right up here. And it looks to me like someone was doing some kind of extended, I don't know, homeless camp or whatever up here. Um... We got a bunch of wood that's been cut right there. And then inside the wood is um, yet more debris and garbage. It looks like they were here and then they just kind of uh, took off and abandoned the place. I don't think this was like someone camping or whatever. Someone was actually living up here at one point. It's pretty unfortunate. This is the type of stuff that we need to stop doing as ambassadors of our our forest it's uh bullshit really um clean up after your fucking selves all right enough with the ranting i'm done it's just um i'm very passionate about the outdoors and nature and keeping things clean so when i see people that are just lazy for no reason doing stuff like this it makes me very unhappy all right guys me and zeus did our perimeter check it's kind of what i call it i like to check my surroundings and just kind of um see if there's any other humans around me 
Uh, that's kind of really what I like to check for. Animals, not worried about so much. Humans, yes. <laughs> Anyways, I had to see some unfortunate stuff up there, which does not make me happy. But there is no one else around me right now. So me and Zeus are going to um, just kind of hang out for a little bit longer. It's about 6.30. It's probably going to be dark in the next 35, 40 minutes. And uh, then we're going to retire up to the rooftop tent. And we will see you guys in the morning for breakfast. And it's going to be a good one. Good morning. Me and the Zeus dog got up about 6.30. It's about 7 o'clock right now. It looks really dark, but it's not as dark as it seems. Uh, we got sun out. Uh, we cooked breakfast. I'm going to show you what we made up. So we cooked up some eggs and uh, some bacon. That's what I call a premium trail breakfast for sure. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to eat that up and then uh, break the rooftop tent down and then we're gonna get back on the road to the uh, next trail. Gonna be about an hour and a half to drive there. So Holly Coosa Falls, here we come. Okay, me and Zeus, we broke camp. We are heading to uh, Oak Ridge now. We're down out of the mountains, uh, getting ready to turn off, um, get out of this uh, man-made lake area and head over to uh, Oak Ridge. And then, uh, then from that point, we'll be heading at back through Eugene and then uh, over to Mackenzie River area and uh, go to Coosa Falls, Solly Falls. It's kind of weird. Uh, it was uh, totally sunny when I was up in the mountains. But now that I've got down here in the valley, it's like totally overcast. So I'm hoping this kind of burns off because uh, I was wanting sun today. <laughs> Hopefully things just didn't get flip-flopped. Sunny yesterday and cloudy today. All right, well, we'll see you guys most likely at the trailhead. Zeus, come here, dog. Zeus, get out of there. Okay, so that was Sehali Kusa Falls. You guys saw the most beautiful portion of it. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. It was quite an adventure with all that snow. A little bit of challenge with Zeus, trying to take off and do his crazy stuff he does. Anyways, we will see you next week on the next adventure. Take care. Have a good weekend.